There's a war on drinking, man, I'm telling you. There's a war. Now that I think weed is becoming like more legal in more places, I keep hearing more people just be like, hey, forget about drinking. We don't need it. We, you can't, no one ODs on weed, and weed's never killed anyone, and weed has all these health benefits, and that's all true, but fucking leave drinking alone. Drinking's so good. It's so good. I like to do both of them at the same time. Most nights. Most nights. It's so good. Did you know that if you drink as much as you can for a whole night, sometimes at the end of the night, people will just carry you around? <laughs> When's the last time you were carried around? When you were a little baby? You're treated like a king. Sometimes they bring you all the way to your bed sometimes, like a king. They lay you on your side. Make sure to lay you on your side. That's very important. That's how kings sleep. I don't know. Sometimes I put a nice big bowl next to your bed in case you want to make a royal salad. <laughs> Treat it like majesty if you drink as much as you can. If you smoke as much as you can for a whole night, then at the end of the night, you'll be afraid to go to bed. <laughs> like, the darkness is too loud somehow. It's too, it's too dark in my ears. How do I sleep if my ears can't see? It's terrifying. Smoking too much weed's never killed anyone, but it has made people experience death. You know? <laughs> Which I think is much scarier. I'm obsessed with drinking. I do it all the, any chance. I, I went to my very first uh, gender reveal party a couple weeks ago. Yeah, a lot of, lot of fun. Gender <laughs> reveal party. I was just walking around going, hi, I'm a boy and you? I'm a boy and you are? Can you guess? Boy, yeah. <laughs> I don't get the appeal of a gender reveal. I'm anti-gender reveal party. I don't get it. If you're revealing the gender of your baby, I don't know why you'd want a whole party around when there's a 50% chance you're gonna be kind of bummed out, you know? I, know? I know you're supposed to, hey, as long as it's healthy, I don't, shut up, you want one of them a little bit more, a little bit, you don't care either way, shut your mouth. Dad probably wants a son you know, to throw the football around with. Or if he already has a son, maybe he wants, you know, another son to play defense. <laughs> but he gotta act happy, man. There's a whole party around. You cut that cake, you gotta, oh, wow, yeah! Yes! This is for sure? You check the, oh, good! We'll find something to talk about. <laughs> Think of something. I saw the saddest gender reveal video online. It was last summer. It was uh, during like NFL training camp. It was our, our very own LA Rams. They had this, it's a woo. They had a practice, training camp practice last summer where I don't know if anyone saw this video, but the kicker, the kicker went to kick the ball and it was a fake ball and the ball exploded, pink dust. And the special teams coordinator was having a baby girl. And so the camera whips over to him, and he's just standing there with like a whistle on his neck and dead eyes. And he's just like, yeah, nifty. And he, and he walks over, and he kneels down, and he puts his arms around his two daughters that he already has. <laughs> yeah, three now, good. Three is what I was hoping for. Three again, no sons. Three not my sons. Is all I have dreamed of my whole life. <laughs> and my wife, four people who will resent me biologically, all in my house with me. <laughs> Can't tell me that guy doesn't want a son. He's an NFL coach. He's reached the highest professional pinnacle of doing father son stuff. <laughs> you know? He's got to come home every day. Dad, you got the wrong tampons. I'm an NFL coach! I have no idea what I'm doing. You're a special teams coordinator, Dad. <laughs> special teams is really important! It's super important! <laughs> I wanna have kids someday. I like kids. I'm 31 now. That's not like, you know, too old. My dad didn't have me till he was 38, though, so that makes me feel like, okay, 38. You know, I'm only 31. I got time to just, like, relax and enjoy the fact that my dad is 69 this year, bro! <laughs> Simultaneous oral sex. Can you believe it? 
weird, nasty stuff, ick. <laughs> Not for me, yick. I'm too claustrophobic for that kind of stuff. <laughs> gets, a little, gets a little tight for me, woof. It's like you're getting an MRI. <laughs> Yeesh. A really hot like, MRI in the, in the jungle. <laughs> Whoa. A little hot. <laughs> my biggest fear about having kids, if I ever did have kids, is my kid walking in on me if I was 69ing with my wife. Can you imagine how embarrassing <laughs> that would be? Because if you were having sex like regular, and you, you know, your kid walked, you guys, have you guys ever had sex regular? <laughs> Highly recommend. Warm, shiny. <laughs> but if you, then you can pull the blanket up, hey, get out of here. But if your kid walks in, if you're 69ing with your wife, and your kid walks in, you're like, oh, well, Jesus, you get kneed in the head. No, oh, shit. It's like, what are you doing? Gymnastics, get out. Get out of here. All injured. You gotta give your kid the talk holding like ice on your. Listen to what you saw in there. That was, that was upside down, is what that was, okay? <laughs> That's not how you kiss your mother. That's your mother's butt end. You don't kiss your mother that way. I want to have kids. Sometimes I feel like I'm like ready to have kids. You know, I love, I got like a niece and a nephew. And I like kids. But I Googled recently, I Googled how much it costs annually to raise a child. And I was like, holy shit. I don't know how to spell annually. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Can't have kids. Am I supposed to have kids? My search history just says, raising kids anally. I'm not, not ready for kids. 